okay now let's do one thing so let's add a few spaces uh, to the beginning of the input file for example let's say uh, in the input file mm, I wanted to add a spaces before the account number so this is an account number before that I wanted to add five spaces to the output file let's do that okay so what is the shortcut outtrack fields equal to 5x 1 comma 10 and uh, copy the rest of the 40 bytes of records so first uh, it is starting the output file when the output file is opened so first column 1 to 5 it is adding spaces so 5x indicates that add 5 spaces then followed by 1 comma 40 bytes pick that from the input file and copy the same to the output file let's submit this it has been submitted successfully and let's go to the output and see how the output looks right so all right so now you got the data the first five are spaces and then you have got the complete 40 bytes of information to the output file that's awesome okay can we do something else yes so if you want to add zeros yes type Z and submit okay and let's look at the output so you can see the zeros at the end if, sometimes it will be spaces but don't worry about that if you see zero zero when you turn on excess it's been added uh, that specific value that should be okay so since it is in a zone decimal format so that's the reason it's uh, showing in a different way okay just a reset hex off that is zone decimal zeros it has been added so don't worry about that okay so that's another one and uh, let's say if I want to add some uh, account information so let me take this okay copy what happens is so this will add oh my god so account info um, 1 comma 40 okay so this one delete no okay okay let me close this okay so when you browse the output file you will understand the difference what did we add we added a string before the starting of these records right so so that it will give me a clear information okay account info so and so records that's cool right so that's the way we add it if you want to so that's these are the very other important shortcuts that we will be working in the real time so i hope so you practice this this is really very very helpful